right then folks, just a couple of people walking down there who I had a chat with a minute ago. So I've walked down there, I've been up on Crook's Peak. I've been up there and it's really wild, the wind, it was not too bad, but I, I didn't have my picnic there because I knew that these other people would catch me up. In the end there were five people up there, so... I thought I'm going to have my sink to eat when I get to Lockerson Church. I'm not really too bothered at the moment, anyway. But I've got, um, I found the main track. Rather than plough through all that there, I found the main path. Because I know there's one down there, but then that really takes you off course. Yeah, somebody I've met then, they were on the Pyrenees this time last week and 39 degrees walking. But you said it wasn't unbearable heat. It was dry heat. It's the humid heat that we get here. I'm feeling okay. I got I got up that peak without any trouble. Um, I've had worse walks when my breathing was... N in a couple of years back, I had um, no, more difficult breathing for a number of reasons. And uh, what it is now, I know that there was a path that came down there, but the thing is you needed to have trousers on to do it. Because I got, like, see there's a path there, sort of, but you can get bitten to bits. I came in, there's ticks. And there's ticks. But there's Crook's Peak, which I was on a minute ago. Like I say, there probably was a path. I still hope there is one. Sometimes I do take the wrong turnings. And uh, even now I'm feeling a little bit lost. Because I'm back to where I was a minute ago, look. where I was a minute, I could have come down from there look, I was only there a minute ago I could have come down through that path look but have I ended up oh no don't say I have maybe I should have gone down further could be that I've ended up again in a small path yeah because I was only just there a quarter of an hour ago and I didn't come this way Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going to go on down here. This looks like... <sighs> I've forgotten. To tell the truth, I have forgotten. But it does look well used, fortunately. <sighs> there should be a much broader path. Fortunately, somebody has... <sighs> done this one, because... Uh, When I did it, it was really difficult. I think I had shorts and I got scratched to bits. Just to join this main path. Yeah, I think I should have gone further down. I could have, I could be in the same boat actually, everyone. I don't think the path is that far away, but I think I might have done the same again. I think I might have done the same again. Let's hope somebody's, um... Oh, no. Don't say I have. Don't say I have. Oh, no. I have, you know. I bet the path isn't far. Let me see. Oh, it can't be that far, surely, Sheila, not again. <sighs> Done it again. Get out over there. It's all right if you've got trousers on. This is just what I shouldn't be doing. <sighs> oh no. Where's the path? 
path. I have this problem every time I come up here. I lose the main path. I've probably got to go all the way up again. Oh, I do this every time. So dangerous for tick. It's picked up again now. Oh shit, this is terrible. Where's the main path? Is that it there? I don't know. This happened to me before. I can't even see a path. Right, turning off. After repeating myself, and I swore I would never do it again, for a second time, I came, I we following a path thinking I was all right, and then I entered thick gorse. <sighs> I was scratching my legs. It was such a risk from snakes and ticks. In the end, I had to go back up, and yet I could have been very close to this path for all I know. But there was still a lot of thick gorse. But I reckon I was quite a way down here. I had to climb all the way back up, go back up almost to the Crook's Peak area, well, I did have to go back up to the Crook's Peak area because I couldn't tell. I might have been just sort of just over there. I couldn't see this path. I couldn't tell. You know, I, could, I just had to go back up. and I might have been just sort of there, but I would have had to walk through all this. I couldn't see a pathway. God, don't, me, don't let me ever do that. repeat that again. That was awful. There was such a risk of ticks then. Ticks and snakes. And I was getting scratched. And it was really hot when I was doing that. The sun was out full blast. So anyway, this sort of thing can happen. When I talk about my walks, there's no point just putting all the good bits on. Things go wrong sometimes. Not very often. It's like when I had to, I left the camera and I had to go back for it last week. That was up, up and down bit, and that was the hottest day recorded. Um, now I'm itching now. by gorse bushes more than anything anyway this is the way down this is the track I was looking for but there was another track many years ago about 30 years ago there was a track that did take you closer to the top from down here now you see if I got not far from here I, I, I'd never have got through this so even though I'd done a, made my way a lot through a little path I was following it was leading me into this sort of thing you know so rather than keep going and trying and have no proper walking trousers on or nothing I ploughed my way back up trying to remember how I got up how I came down the path yeah I remember seeing these trees but they were still quite a way off all these bushes here but I got a feeling there did used to be a track you could use But of course, if people don't use it, it gets overgrown. So anyway, there's the motorway. I'm on my way down off Crooks Peak shortly after a bit of a an unwanted diversion. Thinking I was on the, a different track, I was doing well, and then masses of gorse at me. I've done it again. That's twice I've done it now. So from now on you go back to the signpost down the bottom of Crook's Peak where it says the, the Buncombe 
Buncombe Walk and you go that way you don't try and plow through this you know especially in the middle of the summer maybe in the winter the paths reveal themselves better because I always remember this has been a lot wider than it is now and it's quite narrow No, for a minute I thought, oh, I'll just walk back to Winchcombe and get the bus back. For a minute, that's what I felt like doing. Because it's added on a good half an hour, at least. At least. See, look, there's a track coming down there. And I reckon that's probably what I would have been on. But look how, you know, it was too dodgy. That's the sort of thing, though. It's not only that it made me use a lot of energy climbing back up through the gorse in the heat made me use a lot of energy <sighs> you know which, and I was trying to be gentle with my energy <sighs> plus it was created a bit of stress because I really annoyed with myself <sighs> for putting myself in that position again <sighs> anyway here we are we're walking down this track now like I said, walks aren't always straightforward. They're not always simple and easy. <sighs> One wrong turn. I mean, it could have been worse. I mean, let's hope I haven't got bitten by a tick. I've got no idea. You can't feel them bite you. I know I've got the gorse scratch me. <sighs> and I've pour, pulled a few thorns out. <sighs> yeah. At least the sun's gone in for a minute. Let me cool down. But, you know, I've probably used a pint of water that I didn't need to, to use. I haven't drunk it, but I perspired it. I need to replace him to cool me down. Fortunately, I am cooling down as I go downhill in the shade. This is downhill, so... But you can see I would not have been able to get through any of that. Look. I reckon I've seen all these bushes. I knew the path would be somewhere. And it looked so like it it was so well defined in the beginning. I thought other people must be doing this. You know? I bet lots of people go astray there. Bet I ain't the first. There's no signs to warn you either. <sighs> and you think I would have remembered, but no, I didn't. Because when you come different times of the year, the vegetation changes. I mean, this is much more overgrown than I've ever known it. This bit here, this used to be quite a wide path. So if this is overgrown, so is all the little paths that might have brought me down this way <sighs> this is the main little path that takes you around the base of, the, of Crook Peak and it's very overgrown <sighs> it's much wider than this usually I don't think I've ever been down it with it this overgrown <sighs> over and out <sighs> 